So, man, tell me about that schedule, man. Oh, the 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 the, the schedule for a, a, a school teacher. Yeah, you, yeah. Like, you, like you, right you, now, it's so, gonna be off for Thanksgiving the whole week. Yeah, whole week. You know, they only used to give us three days, but you know, they were like, man, you know, we're gonna bless y'all. We just give you the whole week. So from Monday to Friday, I'm off. Saturday, Sunday, I'm off, and then I go back to work on Monday, and then I come back to work for probably about two weeks. You know, righteously, only one week is a full work week because that second week could be final. It's the perks of teaching high school. And then uh, after that second week, we back on break again. How long is the Christmas break? Is my daughter's got an extremely long break? Uh, that one there is two weeks, two good weeks, about a good two weeks. Mm. 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 But not, two- not, not, now you have all these pros. There are some cons. When you start in January though. Uh, January, we normally go back. Uh, we probably start doing our workshops like January 3rd or something like that. The kids don't come back to the 6th. Okay. Sometimes yeah, mine they come back in like, a, that Friday. like in like June 16th or something like January 16th. Like it's late. What? That's when, that's when, that's when she go back. Yeah. They How long a break then. is? When's it's like break? three three weeks or something like that. They're gonna be out a while. Now that's a blessing. But they go. They don't get out until right before Christmas. When they start school. Sixteenth, I think. August sixteenth. No. Oh, you talking about in August? Oh, I don't remember. I think it was in August though. It was definitely in August, the middle of August. So somewhere around there. Hmm. But you know, some some teachers only teach for two reasons. Y'all know what that reason is? Well, we know it ain't to pay. So what could it be? <laughs> I'm gonna take a guess and say the benefits. Nah. The schedule and what? June and July. Them two months are summertime. Yeah. Summertime, and you still get your paycheck. Yeah. Yeah. You can't beat that. They you offered me a plan to be paid for the. The, the months that I teach and don't get paid in the months that I don't. So it was like from August to May and then and you I, get, I was like, nah, I'm good. Nah, you don't want that. <laughs> I want that thing around here. Yeah, you don't want that. Let me get that the whole quill. That ain't what you want. But yeah, man, there's a lot of good perks about teaching. I, I tell the kids all the time, like, man, if you don't know what you want to do, Instead of going to the military, man, be a PE coach. And think Why about not? what your, think about what your PE coaches did with you. What your PE coach do with you, Stu? <laughs> they huh? blew the whistle and told us what sport we were playing. <laughs> <laughs> run around, told us to run around the field. Yeah. There you go. Toss Make sure y'all don't kill each other. And some volleyballs. We ain't had yeah. no volleyball yeah. net anyway. Yeah. And yeah. then he went over there and leaned on the wall. Yeah, posted up. And he gets paid the same amount as a teacher that's in the classroom teaching. And he blew his whistle. Y'all Play time up, line it up. Line them up, put the balls up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put the balls up. I don't, I'm not gonna, I don't want to sit here and minimize a good PE teacher, though. Like, I don't want to do that. But you make a good point. I think the PE teachers may have like a good two, three, two, two weeks, maybe three, where they really got to teach. I think they had like some fitness or strength and conditioning week or something like that. We got kids got to go outside and run a mile or walk the track or something. Man, you know what you just reminded me of? What's that? When they made us do that damn square dancing. Ah, at Brubaker? Yes. Ah. Yes, dog. The most degrading experience. Yeah, I ever had. Yeah, that jump lasted for a good little while That's too. I mean, it's about three weeks. Yeah, it's about three just weeks. square dancing. Square dancing. You have to do that, bear. You have to square dance in middle school. We we have something similar. We do have the Caribbean version of square dancing. No, 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 ain't no. This ain't no black. Trust me, you ever Google some quadrille, you gonna be like, oh shit, this island square dancing. Trust me, it's, it's the same damn thing. <laughs> this motherfucker, this this was good honky tonk talk. Yes, square dancing. Yes, and you had to learn the words and how to move when you say the word. It was a song called Boot Scoot and Boogie. <laughs> he played. Here we go, go to do. Come on, baby. Let's- Oh, 
Grab your partner, riding around. They forced <laughs> us. Right they forced us to do boop, their electric boop, slide. Boop, boop. <laughs> like, man, what? It used to be some kids that used to be into that. They used to love. They used to love square dancing. Well, yeah, yeah. If we know what kids it was, because we went there, it was still it was still majority other. Yeah. Yeah. So, Black, what you got in store for us tonight, man? All right, tonight. Oh man, we'll be talking about tonight. Oh, oh. Some, you know, these young cats ain't gonna know nothing about this. We about to put these young cats on game. You know, you want to talk in code. There's nothing wrong with a little trimmy trim trim. Yeah. <laughs> what's up? What, give me, what's up? What is trim? You know, what y'all know about a little trim? Trim that up for me. So you're well, talking, you know, you're, you're, you're talking about these edges. That's that, that's nah, not the we you're talking, talking about. You're talking about this beard. Nah, he ain't talking about no cut. We ain't talking uh, about that little. We're we gonna talk all about it in just a few minutes. Let's go and introduce ourselves. Put it on. Put it on the bed. Save it for the mic. My whip, bulletproof. I stash it on the roof. I come with them big boy toys. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Here we is. Mm-hmm. I'm Renaissance. Mm-hmm. Your host. This is Black Sand, aka aka Son of Gualo Peso, aka D Skittles, aka D Nat himself. And last one, Mr. Aquaman. I gotta bring that one back. I like that one. Some people may not know what it means. It's a Splash. little stealthy one. Aquaman. And, and Bear Bareface. Mary. Bareface in the building, aka. AKA Bear Grizz in the building, the rubberneck ranger, also known as Mr. Weak Pull Out Games in the building. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we got an interesting show today. Um, as we were discussing earlier, uh, we we plan to discuss the ins and outs of the word trim, and then we're gonna uh, take that and and see where it goes. Hey man, did you introduce yourself? I did. I'm Renaissance. You, I you ain't did. hear Black Stifler. No, you did not hear the Black Stifler. <laughs> not naming myself after Stifler anymore. Why not, man? Stifler was a cool character on American Pie. He was the go getter. He was the guy he to get things character. popping. He was the guy oh yeah, I, I definitely fit. I definitely used used to fit that scenario. That's yeah, true. Yeah, all, all he worried about was trim. You know, you know who told me that that was a good name. Who told you? Did take a wild guess. Who told you that was a good name? Who, was guess who told me that was a good nickname to use in the show? Just just take a guess. Who? Um, Nike. Your brother. No, both of y'all are wrong. <laughs> it was the missus. I know. The Mrs. <laughs> yeah. wow. You know, I was, was like, gonna say that, but I ain't, you know, I ain't wanna was go like, you should call yourself the black stiffer. Okay. Mm. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You know your ways. Yeah. That's how you know that's how you know you with somebody that really knows you. Yep. <laughs> yep. But uh My yeah, man, I, 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 I'm Hold I'm on. working on some more calls, some call signs, you know. I wanna I wanna freshen things up a little bit. I like the black stiff, but that 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 that, that you, you, you may need a shirt that one. Now that one was fitting for him. Well, you might go ahead and go ahead and start coming up with yeah. a few of those, man. I don't yeah. want to be a black version of no white man. I just don't put his face on there. You got his face right. He said the black version. It, it, it's it's his character though, man. It's his character, his 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 persona, uh, what he was about. You know it, that fits you. <laughs> Damn it! I hadn't I hadn't thrown that sign up in a few in a few shows. He finally pulled one out. Stifler was all about that trim. Yeah, he was. Yes, Anytime, he was. anywhere, any given day, anybody. <laughs> if you come in contact with him, with him, he's measuring you up to see about that trim. All right, so so what, what is trim, Black? Tell us. Uh, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Let's stop. Why I gotta why I gotta get the grunt of that question with his trim. You know what? Wait, uh, before we even get into that, before us stay take a step back and put somebody on blast. I know one of y'all said y'all had a blast. What? Hey man, drop 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 that for me real quick before I, I want to go ahead and put 
I'm not putting somebody up on the team. Just just drop that. There it is. The ugly face. Yeah, let Blue me get black. let me let me get there right now. And this this hurts to say, but then again, it don't hurt to say. And uh I'm a fan. I'm a diehard fan. I went here, I went to this university. Uh I got my masters from this university. And it hurts me to say this. It hurts me. It hurts me to really put these people on blast, put this university on blast. But I got to. At some point, you got to draw the line if you're a fan. You got to draw that goddamn line. But Auburn University, bring that ass here. How you lose in New Mexico State at home? At home by double digits. How that happen? Not only do you lose to them, not only do you lose 31 to 10 to them, but you also paid them $2 million so that you can play them and beat them, really, right before the Iron Bowl. This is supposed to be a warm-up game. But you let these boys come in here and outplay you, outcoach you, outfinesse you because they did run a sneak punt, a fake punt on you and gain about 20-plus yards on you when it was like fourth and – two or five or something and you just let them embarrass you at your home state I mean, you you an embarrassment to the sec auburn university green that ashtray here you are on blast for losing to new mexico state was it a homecoming game no I don't, oh, don't even tell me that i don't even it may have been a homecoming game it was a game right before the iron bowl so if they uh, was expecting to win yeah you know in, in the crazy thing in my sports marketing class i teach about this how you have certain teams who, you know, who are who are not on the same level or same caliber, may not be may, may not be receiving the same income. How they are paid to come into a school and to play a school that they know should beat them, but they're gonna pay you a good amount of money, you know, for them to play you and, and beat your butt. But you paid this team two million for them to come to your home and beat you. Third and one to ten. All you can put up is one touchdown. Goddamn. All right, wait. Are they, is, wait, what, 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 what are they? Is Auburn even ranked? Auburn's not ranked. They're coming off a three game winning streak. Okay. Against, um, you know, a couple of SEC teams. You know, you know, you know, they, they beat, they beat Mississippi State. Oh, well. They beat Vanderbilt. Oh, well. They beat Arkansas at home. Oh, well. But New Mexico State. But they Come couldn't handle New Mexico State. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. All right. That's tough, man. Auburn, y'all on blast, man. I hate to put y'all on blast, but y'all y'all earned that one. And now, you know, they got they got Alabama coming in. <laughs> They're playing this weekend. And that's that's number five, right? They number five, ain't it? They're not four. What are you talking about? Who's number Alabama five? ranked number five or six? Nah, they ranked number eight. Okay, all right, they went they went down a little bit. Yeah, they haven't bounced back since that Texas loss. But Auburn, man, disappointing, disappointing. Hugh Freeze, that's not a good look, man. That's not. I know you're a new coach in town, but that's not a good look. Good look at all. Well, you're gonna need two blasts. You keep going, man. But bear with I'm, 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 I'm gonna leave it alone. Yeah, let them go. It's okay. They just they playing the sport. This, I'm gonna, but <sighs> every other team in the SEC who played their cupcake schedule, their cupcake game this week, did what they were supposed to do, dominate. Auburn, on the other hand, <laughs> I don't know pissed. what happened. He is pissed. Ladies and gentlemen, he's pissed. He's pre ejaculated, I guess. They, they, I don't know. Money on that game. No, I didn't, I didn't. You know, what actually, did I didn't even watch. I didn't. I didn't watch the game. You know why I didn't even watch the game? You know why I didn't watch the game? Because it's it's, it's the game before rivalry week. You playing a little cupcake team. You go. I expected for them to blow them out, but then I get a couple of calls. You know, from some of my homeboy, like, "Man, you all right?" I'm like, "Yeah, what's up?" They're like, you sound like you good. Like, what, what, you, you good? I'm like, "Yeah, man, what's up?" What's the problem? Yeah, Penn, Penn. game. They losing thirty one to ten. Bullshit. <laughs> Penn State, put, Penn State put the smack down on somebody. That score was pretty bad. That's their warm-up game before rivalry week. They supposed to do that. They paid that team. 
Whoever they put the smack down, they paid them. They paid. They got paid good to take that ass with them. <laughs> it's possible. You pay, team, you pay a team two million dollars for them to come to your home turf and spank your ass. They ain't just beat you by a touchdown or a field goal. They spanked your ass. <laughs> like the strip <laughs> like they on. Thirty-one to ten. Ah. It's okay. They'll bounce back. They'll bounce back and be better than ever. I hope so. <laughs> you know I don't wish that. <laughs> Bear, you said you had a blast too. I'm just going to give a shout out to the fucking Biden administration yet again. Never cease to fail the American people. What they do? Send yet another, what was it, 100 million over to Ukraine and Israel. Way to go. A hundred mil. I remember they don't sent like two point how much hundred to two hundred and like fifty mil to Ukraine just a few months ago. No, I think they didn't send a couple billion to Ukraine. The billion, yeah. And, and total. I think it's a hundred bill. I think to be honest with you, I think it's a hundred bill. I don't don't quote me. I was so disgusted when I seen it. I just cut the damn thing off. But yeah. Well, so you have allies. You and they're in they're in a conflict. You're contractually obligated to help. Now you have two options right off the bat. I can pay for everything they need to help them, or I can send my own kids. Nah, we don't we don't need to send no troops. So you know, I, I'd rather pay they, for they, it. they ain't got no other allies. They got allies who who have pounds uh, and other currencies? Why nobody ain't sending them hundreds of uh, of millions? Other of countries have been sending money and, and to other them. stuff. I believe other countries have been sending money. We just don't hear about it. I, I, that's I, something I, we can look up, though. That, yeah, that's something to look into right there. Yeah. We some love being being the, the the charity organization of the world. Yeah. It's like, you know, I know we've already talked about it, and I said the same thing. Why does America always have to go be Captain Saver? Saver, you know, you know what to finish it. You want the real answer? Why we always got to stick our nose into something? I could tell you why. Oh, why, Bear? Because somebody getting trimmed. <laughs> <laughs> a little and trim. You know what? No. I think that's a great segue into what is trim. Exactly. What, what, what do we? How do we define that? Uh, black, you have to take the mantle on this one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, black. I'm, I'm you're, trying the to form, you're the foremost expert. No, nah, I'm not gonna say I'm the expert on it because I, it's not a word that I. It's not a term that I came up with. Uh, it's actually a term that you know in my college days that you know one of my baseball buddies. Mr. Shout out to Brad Burke. I hope he's still kicking. I hope he's still on this planet. Wonderful spirited person, young man. But I used to hang out with Brad Burke, man. And uh Brad he's always talking about I'm about to go give me some trim. <laughs> some trimmy trim trim. Everything, everything was centered around trim with Brad. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I was hanging, I didn't know what Brad was talking about. And then, you know, he told me, he told me what trim is. Trim, trim is a little punani, a little, a little loving. Let me just keep it, let me keep it. Uh, rated G, a little love, a little, a little, a little, a little, a little punani. That's nice. Are you, are you able to That's describe nice. trim in PG? Can you really truly? I don't describe really it? think you can, but you know, I'm trying my best right now. Have you ever requested trim using the word trim? No, I can say nah. that I've thought no, I never. Nah, now I will say this. Part of what he was telling me trim was it does need to be nicely shaved. It ain't just no 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 fur pad. It so, needs uh, to be nicely shaved. So 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 nothing nothing bushy. Nothing bushy. Say it again, man. So nothing bushy. Nothing bushy. Mm. Nothing bushy. But you can use it. You can use it. I'm going to go give me some trim. Like what? Mm-hmm. Scorched earth, or is a manicured lawn acceptable? Or it has to be scorched earth. Man- manicured lawn, according according to Mr. Burke. Okay, man, it gotta be manicured. It gotta be manicured. 
Y'all ain't never, you ever, well, had, y'all, y'all ever heard the word trim? Is, you, you know, that's you my story. Had, where it came you, from. you ever had the one that was, it was like the whole line was just cut low. It was still furry. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, just just, just all low lined up. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that. That's, good. that's, that's, that's nice. Wrong with a well manicured lawn, I tell you, I can appreciate a well manicured lawn. Yeah. You got an edge you on it. You don't want no nappy roots. Did you do what? <laughs> <laughs> what you say, man? You say you cut too? You cut hair? Yeah. You, 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 I hit this thing. Well, you, you cut, but you edge up too? What? You putting that little extra? You putting that little extra on that? If you can do, I got, I got a question for y'all. Uh, y'all ain't never done the trimming. Y'all ain't never got in there and I got think your we hands have two dirty and did the trimming. Of trim. I, I do. I, I think okay. We have what's your de- what's your definition? But I want to know: Have y'all done any trimming though? Have y'all got in there and edged that thing up yourself? Yes. Yeah. I've done it. Yes. Yes. Once. Twice. Add, add it. Get it down to your level that you that you desire. Yes. Was there was there anything unique that you noticed when you was doing the trimming? Who wants to go first? I choose Ren. Uh, Black Ren cannot host <laughs> ever Put again. Put it on that there, Ren. <laughs> what did you yeah, notice? We cannot you allow to Black to host ever again, never. Why not? <laughs> this is the question the people the people want to hear. It may be some young lad out there that never done any trimming before. Man. All right, so that's what I'm saying, man. I think you have a very different idea of what i think trim is i i whenever i thought in my head i'm gonna get some trim it's at least at bare minimum some fellatio yeah that that, that was my impression at the bare minimum at least mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. hj you know <laughs> it's good yeah, uh, some trim is like you know, just hook a brother up on something slight, just a little something, something. Yeah, just a little something, something. Okay. See where it's gonna go. Okay. A little trim, you know. Give me a little yeah. trimmy trim. That's just something to take the edge off, you know. Yeah, yeah. You might like it. We can meet up later. So y'all definition sounds like it's more of a little. Ah, I can't believe I'm about to say this, man. There's lots. That sounds of like a more rim. A little rim. Give me, give me some. Give me, let no, me get rim. Rim, rim refers to your ass. Nah, that's nah. What? Yeah, balls, man. What nah, man? Yeah, rim, rim and balls ain't got nothing to do with each other. Rim is a whole <laughs> body part, black. That... You need to, you need to, you need to fresh up on your porn, man. What's wrong with you? That's I'm, like, not, I'm, I'm not a porn. What's hey, wrong with my foot? I'm not. Y'all, y'all guys are. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not real educated on porn. Yeah, you need to you need to you need to freshen up on your porn lingo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't, don't ask me for no rim, black. Like, please don't don't do yeah. not go we, ask we, for We rim. talking about trim, not rim. Let's, then you're gonna have to host a pegging episode. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that laughing in the background over there? There's a unicorn over there laughing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, I I've never said it though out loud. You know, because I always thought that it was kind of insulting to call, to speak to a female and say, yeah, let me get some trim. That was a rule of thumb. It was like, that was something I was taught, like, you never request, you imply, but you don't request. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So, 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 so let me... If, a, you to, re- if you got to ask for it, you done, you done lost the game right there. You done defeated all right, so how Come do you on. apply it? Come on, you can do it, girl. Come on, please. Come on, let me get some. <laughs> yeah. And then and then you start, then you hear things like, let me put the tip in. <laughs> let me put the tip in. Come on. Embarrassing. <laughs> Call <us a> time. <laughs> That's bad. That's all bad. You don't want to do that. You always want to be the one sitting back, letting it come to you. Mm. Mm. That was a rule of mine for a very long time. What was that, Ren? To, to sit back and let let your blessings come. Mm-hmm. You just you know be yourself. 
you, you know, and, and make sexy remarks from time to time. Just keep, you know, keep it, keep it fly. You imply. Yeah. You gotta imply. And then next thing you know, you playing 2K and she playing with herself behind you. Mm. So how can, a, how can a young kid pull that off? A young, lad, a young a lone whippersnapper. Teach him the game, Ren. The game is different now. Yeah, right? man. I don't even know how they do it. What age days. are you referring to? Because if I you think, I think I think nowadays these young cats just be just be straight up, just blunt. They if, don't finesse they win. They just tell them what they want. If if I think that if it was a dude out right now and they still had the same swag we had in the nineties, where you had to use your mouthpiece, you had to you know be able to spit a little bit of game and pump yourself in a proper way, but not misleading but still be realistic. I think he's gonna have a longer wait in the line. He's gonna get three, still gonna get in, but he's gonna have a longer wait in the in the line because you got in front of him the pocket players. Yeah. What you mean? The cats is fly player. on the phone? No, the pocket players, the guys that lead with their pockets. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they paying. Yeah, you talking about you talking about the, the, the pay to players. But we had them too, man. That didn't make a difference for us. Not on the degree. We had them where it was like five to two. Now that shit is now we five to two. We the two. <laughs> Well, well, shit, we didn't, didn't get that's get our money up. They think that that's the corny <laughs> shit. They, like it, yeah, okay. they think that this corny shit will come. Let me take you on a yacht ride and pay your rent is game. They think that's that corny shit. Yeah, but see, yeah, there ain't no longevity in that. You 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 got somebody that's with you because of what you're giving them, not because they want to be with you. Mm-hmm. And that's what that's why the old way gonna always be the best way. If you because, want something long term, yeah, yeah, they're gonna be required to get to know you, and or they just move on and miss out. Mm-hmm. But again, the rule still applies. You can't be with somebody that don't want to be with you, so they got to bring it to you. They got to bring. They got to bring that gift sit in your lap. What 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 big guy used to say? Put it in my hand. Yeah, <laughs> my my whorish friends. <laughs> <laughs> Put it, put that was a strong line. Yeah, put it in my hand. What am I supposed to do when she put it in my hand? You figure it out. Like, dang, it's like you you left with no choice. You left with no choice. You got to respect that line. You know, (laughs) you you got to have, you got to be self disciplined when, 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 when when she put it in your hand. Yeah, man, we, we, we were pretty, we were pretty strict about that rule, man, not forcing yourself on them. We didn't, we didn't do that. We didn't do that when we rolled up. We we really didn't. Now, when we met you, that was probably the most force you'd get. Jumping out the car, running up. What's oh, up? Oh, wow. <laughs> you. That I'm, was the most abrupt. I'm not even going to go back down that dark road. <laughs> well, I mean, we did that all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, that wasn't the only time we pull up on a chick and just start, you know, talking shit. I think probably one of my most aggressive was blocking a chick in. I was backing out. And I pulled up right behind in the work truck. I was happy that. <laughs> you ain't going back. nowhere. I was yeah. on a lot. Where you going? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, you got to get in their way to talk to them. Yeah. yeah. You get rejected, you, you get out the way. Seen. Huh? Yeah. You got to make yourself seen. Yeah. Yeah, they be in their own world. Mm-hmm. I like what I see. I'm going to go. Get, I'm going to see what she say. If it doesn't work out, it's fine. You got to move on to the next. Oh, you got to move on to the next. You got to have thick skin. See, I think that's what's wrong with some of these young cats, man. Nah, they, they ain't got that thick skin like that. They, they don't know how to take rejection. They want, they want to cuss the girl out or something because you know she said no or she said this. And they want to cuss out. Like, if I don't want to. Uh, we is like, nope, let's try the next one then. Yeah, I had a photo. I'll do the next one. If I'm out looking for chicks, I'm look, at least I'm gonna hit at least 20. I'm gonna get one. <laughs> one out of that 20, it's 20, 20 to 1 ratio. Yep. I'm gonna hit at least 20. And, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna talk to the baddest 20 I see. 
<laughs> and it always works. You know, always thing, man. You're gonna, you know, leave, you gonna, you gonna leave with like, something. Yeah, yeah, like if I went to a spot, man, I, I kind of, I didn't really, I don't know, I was kind of picky and choosing, man. I, I ain't really want no anything. I gotta had, the, I wanted the baddest one in the spot. Mm-hmm. You know, I just, that was just me, and I test my luck, Jeez. and then I work my way down from there. <laughs> See what I'm saying? I can't go home empty and handy. He said he worked his way down. <laughs> I started off at nine. No, I'm at four. That oh. me go ahead and scoop something up. Nope. <laughs> uh, Lord, I'm gonna try all the nines. But but once I have once once we're we're at least talking, then I'm, there's no more need to push. Everything else just comes. You just be yourself. Talk. Hello. How you doing? Maximize your profits. Kick it with your chick. That's the only. I mean, that's that's the only real thing I can think of. I don't know, man. Like you think you think y'all done? You think you done lost, lost a little pep in your step? You know. You know. You you go out right now. You've been out the game for such for such a long time. You go out right now. You know what's gonna be what's gonna be your pool? Like you know, buy I drinks. Think. You know, you know, you know. You, you want to be in touch with the what's what's in the know right about now? I figured. Are you out of like touch? Years ago. Ten what years. back? I said I figured it out ten years ago. Do not <laughs> be nowhere after a certain time. <laughs> I have no problem pulling up next to that loud ass speaker box and going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't going out no more. What? I ain't got it like that no more. But I remember the last time I went out, I think it was a book then. I don't remember. We went somewhere, man. Bro, I was so damn tired in that club. I was tired. Oh, Lord, I was struggling to stay awake. Ooh, it was all fun, no boo. No, man, I can still <laughs> kick it, man. That's that transition into I have to prepare. Life. We got we can't just talk about do no abrupt shit. You want me to go out with you? I need to prepare. I need to sleep that day. <laughs> you know, take a nap. <laughs> you gotta go get your body ready. To schedule a nap <laughs> that day. Oh <laughs> Lord. Just me out. Just, just gonna take me out. No, get your body <laughs> ready. You're gonna stay up. We're gonna be up for some hours. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's funny. And I can't get me on my feet either. We go wherever we go and better have chairs and a back support. I can't just get me yo just standing the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man. Yeah, it's, it's uh, you, I don't know. A little coffee, Red Bull, Jaeger bombs. That wake you up. Yeah. But you know, you know, you could, you could take the easy way out. There's always an easy way. You don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to go to a club and put in work and, Go through 10, 20 girls trying to trying to find that right one. You can just go to the bunny ranch. Ooh. <laughs> Since you're a working man, you can just so go to the bunny the ranch. Thing. So, okay. So this is this is a single uh, version of scenario, right? We're talking as because I would never do this, right? Uh as a married man, I would never do this. As a single man, I would never as a do single this. man, would I go to a bunny ranch? Bunny Ranch. Or would you go to the streets? I definitely wouldn't go to the streets. <laughs> let's just, let's just start with the I, Bunny Ranch. I'm, I'm, I'm taking thinking it about the Bunny Ranch. All right, think about it. <laughs> I'm thinking like, okay, but I don't know. I've been to the strip club. All right, so 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 let's let's just go ahead and give a vivid picture of the of the Bunny Ranch. Okay. You know. All right, so you know the Bunny Ranch is a, is a, is an actual live. Weld oil machine place in uh, I think it's in Las Vegas, Nevada. Am I right? It's in Nevada. Yes. Uh, it's a brothel. He's, there's you two. Know. The guy owns two there's of two them. Two of them. They've expanded. No, he owns two of them. Yeah. So I really if, you're work, if you're a working class man, you you pull up to the Bunny Ranch. It's a little. It's a little home. You know what I'm saying? Got a nice little landscape. Got a little little, little privacy fence. A little, a little gated off fence. You pull up, you go in, you got your little bar. I don't you know, know what I'm man. saying? I don't know. I don't know if I would do this. I just, I don't know. <laughs> you, <laughs> Hell no, man. Now, you, what you're describing, does that sound like something I would want to do? I got to paint the like picture. like a whorehouse. Yeah. Yeah. Like a whorehouse. 
That's what it sounds oh. like. I don't know if the whole does the whole house have a bar. They got a bar for you. They playing music. Yes, they even have pool tables. They got a pool table. Oh yeah. That's and then you get out. It's a room too. It's also a hotel room. All so right, you stay the right. night. Hold on. Let, let's get back to this bunny ranch. So you pull up. You go what up is in you there. Talking you, about? You, know, <laughs> you, you, you you have you 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 go to the bar. Have you a couple of drinks? You may have somebody come greet you. Like you know, like you needed to be seated. You know, you pull up. And uh, you don't have your couple of drinks. You ready to get down? So you you tell them, okay, ring the bell. They ring the little bell. You got about ten females come out. They lined up, and they tell you to choose. You can choose one. You can choose two. You can choose three. It's whatever you desire. And you choose your lady friend or your lady friends, and y'all go down the hallway. Y'all go into a secluded room that has that may be a water mattress, maybe just a regular mattress, nice furniture, nice, nice sheets. I hope the sheets are clean. And then, you know, you gotta talk business. No, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm, I'm completely turned what, off. What is too complicated for you? Yes, yeah, I'm completely turned off at this. Nope. <laughs> no. Well, I just got to tell you how I like for it to come to me. Mm-hmm. So what, what what makes the bunny ranch so special as opposed to the street walkers and their whorehouse? What's what's the key difference here? They got uh, a hotel. They got a they they got their own house. One right. one doesn't one doesn't have syphilis at the entrance, and one does. Like, <laughs> you, no, you can only hope that everybody's oh, been tested at the brothel. Oh, I almost do it. Huh? <laughs> I'm hoping everybody's being tested. You think everybody's being tested? Why am I no. saying hope? No hope. I don't no. care. You don't think no. everybody's tested? You don't think you don't think they're testing them? Well, okay. I think in Nevada there's something in the law that me makes them have to have some type of registration. Uh-huh. So I don't know what comes with that because it's legal in Nevada. It's not okay. against the law. No, nah, it's not. No, nah, you, 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 it's all good. Are bunny ranch workers tested. Yeah, there you go. According to the now, prostitution is only legal in Nevada's estimated 20 licensed brothels whose sex workers undergo regular tests for sexually transmitted diseases and HIV. Oh, so they so they get it's almost like a random drug test. No, they, so they say get it's a regular test. <laughs> the regular, that means, not no random. Regular. You so that means what, what? every 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 client you your ass tested. Hmm. I don't know, man. Would you want to get get tested like after after every session if you was a female? Like, hey, man, you know, hey, <laughs> that's a hard business. No. <laughs> hey, man, hey, 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 boy, people ain't easy. So, so wait a minute. So wait a minute. So y'all telling me? Y'all telling me? No. At this spot, especially you know, Ren, you you said you you went fool with it. No. You got ten females that you can just choose from. Bear you too. Ten females you can choose from. Yeah. You you you, you don't have to choose one. You can choose two. I will be walking out like them. <laughs> choose. You'll be scared. I, I'm gonna get my money back. My money. <laughs> no. I, I I yeah yeah black. I can't. I don't shop everywhere, and that's not one of the places I shop at. I, I especially when I get it for free. Always have and always will. I just can't pay to play that way. It, it's a, right, it's so, so much better when you just talk when you're talking. And you go, hey, and they be like, yeah, I like you. Oh, really, man? Then y'all do it, man. It's amazing. Yeah, that's a much. That's so much better. This that easy buy buy it shit. I don't do that. And then you're now, you, will, you, you're actually getting a high mileage recycled steak. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say this. I watched the documentary about the Bunny Ranch on HBO. And uh, you know, some of the guys that came in there, man, and it was a different variety of guys. It was guys who were married, it was guys who were truck drivers, uh, it was guys that was just looking for some adventure. It was even guys that just wanted somebody to just talk to. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just thinking, like, if you if you're an individual, if you're a young man in this mind state, but all right. I was would you rather saying, go like, there or would you it, rather go to the streets? The younger me, 
This might not have been an issue. The younger me might have walked in there, you know, been like, oh, okay. Oh, oh, them? Oh, okay. The glamour would have got you. Yeah. Why not? You'd have been thinking, the younger you would have been thinking. I know the younger me, if I didn't know any better than I'm just walking in, I would have been thinking I'm getting some some prize filet mignon. Yeah. You know, like, what? What? Like, why? You just been sitting here waiting for me? And me all the bullshit she feeding me? (laughs) Yeah. You know, my younger me, yeah, this is probably not even be a conversation. This place is awesome. You're so polite. (laughs) <laughs> that guy, that guy was—he was a loose cannon. I, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't think the same way now. That's crazy. We grow. Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, you're right. You're in a different mind state now, but you know, but back then, I don't know. I think it's still, I think it's still some men who are our age that find use out of that. You know what I'm saying? They, they, well, you know, and, and, and keep in mind that the cost of this is around like three hundred to two thousand or a thousand dollars. You know, for one session. That's pricey. One session. Huh? That's pretty pricey. Yeah. Three hundred yeah. dollars. That's another barrier I would have had to get through. I wouldn't have uh I'm you very wanna drop, you wanna drop that three hundred? No, dog. What 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 if, what if it was three hundred for a two piece? <laughs> one fifty a piece. Come on, man. So for two what about hours. Street walkers? For two hours. What about the street walkers, man? Would you do a street walker? <laughs> okay, let's clean up the street walker a bit. Let's give him something more comparable. What about an escort? An escort, yeah. Let's clean I don't up know, man. The, the escort, the, you know, escorts in Las Vegas, I don't know. I just know what I've seen on TV and the movies. They seem to be a little bit cleaner. You know, they seem to be a little bit more upscale, a little classy, a little bougie, you know, like your girl next door, mm. you know, it's not like, you, you know, you, you call one of them, you may be winning. Maybe. <sighs> you may be nasty, too. I mean, they come on with a little black dress on. Know. You just don't you know, they fucking come, know. They come on with a little black dress. They smell good. You know, they got high heels. You know what I'm saying? They look... Like you know, they've had a couple of meals. You know, they look nice and clean. They got, got an accent, and shit. They got an accent. You know, long <laughs> hair. They may have that long hair in the ponytail. Jewelry. They got jewelry. You know what I'm saying? Hey, could be winning with an escort now, Barry. Yeah, you do some they, they, they call more than the bunny ranch. I, I think that's more so what the high end guys use. Like these uh, rich guys, billionaires, probably who don't who, who can't afford to settle down or whatever. I think they probably make more use of escorts than they would a bunny ranch. Yeah. They cost more too. Oh, really? Escorts cost more than that. Mm. Yeah. So, so if they cost more than what you think you're paying for, you're paying for all that good stuff, huh? The smell good, the jewelry, the cleanness. So, so yeah, I mean, yeah, she just got off the bunny ranch. She just came to come and escort you, get a little bit of extra money for the weekend. <laughs> y'all ain't y'all ain't never watched them documentaries on Showtime, man. I, I yeah, them. man, I've seen you a know, lot. They of them. show you they show you what they do before they actually go to a session. They go bathe, they go get themselves clean and everything. That's what you're paying for. Soap and water don't wash away syphilis and herpes and gonorrhea <laughs> and all these other things. <laughs> Fortunately, soap and water has yet to scrub that shit away. You're you're absolutely right though, Bear. You're you're right that soap and water done then watch away stuff like that. But do you want to be kissing and touching on somebody that's salty? Huh? Wait, what? Salty? Yeah. You mean like salt. dirty salt, like sweaty? Dirty salt. Yeah, there you go. And it wasn't sweaty and salt sweaty because of me? This is sweat exactly. sweaty prior to me? That's what you're gonna get from that street, from that street profit or that street. Oh, okay. I see what you said. Or that bunny ranch. She just had I a was session. wondering where you were going with uh, it. For the bunny ranch, they make sure <laughs> they, they got they um they have a schedule. 
they got their own cleaning facilities right there on site. Yeah, they do got a little shower, a little tub. Sometimes you may even be able to get it on in the hot tub at the Bunny Ranch. Ugh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just think everything that I'm doing at this place, Everybody else hundreds of other people have already done it. <laughs> in the Bunny Ranch, it goes down. Every female there is putting you it in your hand. a hot tub that's got a tub worth of nut already been skeeted in it, and now you getting it. Circuit your black lights when you go over there. Don't take no <laughs> black light. They don't even work right. They stay short now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got a black light <laughs> force field. You can't even shine a light in here. <laughs> the whole room just illuminates as soon as you turn it off. It's bunny ring. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wear those welding goggles and shit before you turn them on. Hey, who who in here been to Las Vegas? I love Y'all Vegas. Both, I, I've never been to Las Vegas. What? Never been, to, ne- never been. Like, been next year. Never been, never been to Sin City. We're going next year. I, never we're been. going next year. Yeah. So so my question was in Sin City. How often do you get offered? Like, if I'm there visiting. If, oh, as soon as you walk outside the hotel. <laughs> you want some trim? You want some trim? <laughs> you want some trim? No. Hey, you want some trim? No. They <laughs> hand out flyers. Get the Burger King, man. They hand out flyers. Trim, or... trim that Burger King, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, man. You mean to tell me as soon as I get off the plane? Uh uh-uh. uh, as soon as you hit the strip, I'm getting off a trim. You look like you need a flyer. Go and take this this this, this trim flyer right here. What? Yeah. What's on the flyer? What the flyer say? What the flyer say? I'm just I'm just curious. Yeah, What's you can have flyer? a girl come oh, straight to your room. Five, five 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 and 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 you could get some trim. Yeah. What? Mm-hmm. It's That's legal. Great. So they play. They passing out flyers. Y'all have just made a surreal moment for me, like real talk. So as soon yeah, as I, soon as I get out. on the strip, yeah, I can't believe you I'm just walking mind of my business. I'm trying to go to Starbucks, get me some coffee. And I get a flyer from a random person. You want some trim? Call this number, 555-25-555. I don't think they say you want some trim. I, <laughs> I don't. I don't. <laughs> It just has it on the flyer. You want a good time? Looking for yeah. a good time? Yeah. I think the and one I, I think the one I had seen said something like intimate massages or some shit. Yeah. Ah, that Deshaun Watson. Yeah. They offer you that Deshaun Watson. Well, I knew what that massage meant. That what party? <laughs> I knew what that meant. So what y'all do with the with the flyer? Y'all just ball it up. Like I ain't feeling that shit. Even though nah, they put it in your hand. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, that shit going in the trash. Y'all, I, y'all I don't, brother, I don't y'all think goddamn lie. Y'all thought about that shit. <laughs> no, I've never, I've never thought about that. Y'all I've thought never. about, y'all contemplating it. Yeah, we throw that away. Yeah, that shit going in the trash. <laughs> Bear got one in his pocket. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> y'all probably brought that thing home and said, "Is it worldwide? Can I call this from my place? And I can I'm gonna just keep this. Are y'all worldwide? Y'all internationally known? Huh? Look, locally owned and operated. We're family business. <laughs> <laughs> but that's pretty deep, though, man. You gotta. I think you know if you if you a married guy and you're trying to keep the faith. You got to go in prepared, I, you know. You, you know, that things ain't even tempting. Oh, I, that ain't nothing to prepare for. I mean, I mean, I'm, if, if, if I'm just saying it from a, oh. you know, from a standpoint of not knowing, and you know, oh. you you get there and you get hit with that, you be like, what? Yeah, you know, you think for at first it looked like a damn Chinese menu. I thought it was that I'm hungry. I was looking for. I was following my nose, and they just passed me some shit. I'm like, oh, this what you selling? Oh, okay. No, I need I need to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh the uh the minute you get on the strip there's gonna be people out there in bikinis and feathers and shit and if you take a picture with them they're not gonna leave you alone unless you give them at least twenty dollars <laughs> tell you right now and, wait a minute, and... wait a minute, man. so you be like okay <laughs> man, let's take a picture together you take a picture and you yeah. mean to tell me they gonna have me until I give them twenty a twenty piece? 
yeah. taking the picture. Yeah. Man, you get the fuck on. <laughs> yeah. Because that's how they make their money. They, they dressed up like the old school showgirls from, from the strip. You know what I'm saying? They got the feathers on, the sparkly, <laughs> sparkly bikini clothes. They ain't got nothing on. And they, they, they just smile. They take a picture with you. Black, have a heart. Do you have any idea how hard it is to wear the same goddamn costume every day? For every newcomer that come to your place and run the same line over and over. Uh, you know how exhausting that you got to feel like a robot after that. I'ma say this to that person, Bear. This is the lifestyle, this is the profession that you chose. You had a you got a million other professions to choose from, and you chose this one. Maybe they traveled it thinking it was going to be a, a every day in this hot ass Nevada sun. That's your business. Well, check this no. out. Do you want that picture? Do you want that picture? No, I don't you want just that picture. took. Nah, your you phone. <laughs> what? What are they gonna take my phone? You want that picture that you just took what, with their phone? What are they gonna? They gonna take the phone out of my hand? Nah, you gonna have to delete that in they front of them. For them what? They, man, no, man. How they gonna make me delete a picture in my phone? Man, I watched this dude argue these girls. For he was so pissed. It was, no. No, I'm not paying you shit. <laughs> <laughs> See, that'll be me. That'll be me right there. Hey, man, pay, pay, pay. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> That's why. That is why I have to go. But you took the picture. Give me my can I, can I ask you this? What these fem- what they what they look like though? Oh, they're gorgeous. They're, they're pretty. Hmm. They're pretty? Yeah. They, yeah, they they look the part. They look the part. And I want I'm quite sure there's some people that probably pay that twenty dollars too for a picture. I think I think you should pay it. You should pay something. Now <laughs> Why, uh, out of sympathy? if you do what I always tell people to do is, is immediately give them ten dollars before they ask you for anything and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> So you'll be getting the picture for half off. Oh, I mean, you just, uh, you just, uh, they're probably wanting 20, but just give them 10 and that that'd be the end of it. What you got there? What, what, what you got there, man? Yeah, they be dressed like that. What? Yeah. So they be naked though. They don't, why that, they, why they that is girls, oh, they naked, really? they be in the casino. No, nothing like that. They don't need to be on the streets. No, nah, they be independent from the casino. They be walking up and down the street. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. So, they, so they, they actually work at the casino. No. But they, they don't work at the casino. No. They, oh, that's they I'm, thinking you, I'm thinking like you saying they work at the casino, they get the casino check, and they do this outside the casino to get that extra. Mm-mm. Right. So, yeah, okay. yeah, they be like that. The king. Oh, okay. All right, with a little feather hat, the two piece on, two piece. Yeah, the like these girls here for sure. Yeah, they be like that. They be they be fit like that too. Hmm. I said they be fit like that too. I said uh huh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I said they they're always nice looking. They they they, they play they playing the part. Toes polish. That's why people are taking pictures with them. You know what I mean? But it's just the whole thing, like you know, you gotta, you gotta give me my dub. Well, what are you doing? Make sure you, when you go there to check out Crazy Girls. Crazy Girl, what's Crazy Girls? Is it a brothel? No, it's a show. Oh, okay. Well, okay, I'll leave it alone. Just make sure you go see it. They got, they got gigolos there too, don't they? Oh yeah, yeah, they do. My wife been there by herself. You notice I didn't mention a, a guy on the corner taking pictures with girls with just a bikini on either, but that, that shit's out there. What? There's a guy yeah. on the corner in the Speedos taking yeah. pictures with females? All muscles. All muscles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't mention that because that's not what I go there looking at. I don't see that, but... Just to let you know, because you brought that up, yes, there's jiggling. <laughs> so you go, you go see it all. You go see the, you go see the females with the feathers and the two piece on, 
and you're gonna see the guy with the with the speedo, the one piece on. Yeah. With muscles and it's so strong. Gonna, when you walk out the door, you're gonna pass a point where there's gonna be a whole bunch of that shit happening. Wow. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna get a flyer in my hand like it's a party. Like uh, hey, hey, and there's a party on the rooftop coming <laughs> at o'clock. Oh yeah, you're gonna get lots I'm of that. Charge 20 bucks. But Listen. instead, if you want a good time, you want some trim, call this number five 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 <laughs> two five 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 five. And every club, every every casino has a club in it. Okay. Or two. Every club or every casino has a club in it. Yeah. Every one of them. And they all be live. It's so much yeah. fun. I love Vegas. It's lit. It's lit, and I love how thought out it is. You could see it's a it's a newer city than what we're see, used to. You know. See, in my mind, I'm like, okay, if you got all of that, Moot. There go Burger King. <laughs> Crackety crack, crack, crack. <laughs> yeah, Burger King just closed, ain't it? Burger King just closed in his area. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, hey, I told y'all, man, you got to go with the hardline internet. Y'all better get out there, Wi-Fi internet. Especially when it ain't yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, black. That need to be his exit sound every time he do this. Stuff. It's been like every episode. We need to go ahead and just reroute that sound to him every time he does it. Just Yeah. yeah. Hey, you blurry. What happened? I guess from the phone, putting the phone up, you don't want to. Because you were blurry a second ago. Now yeah, I, I had to it. sit up. I don't know if it wouldn't adjust or something. But we're going to wrap this up because we just completely lost black in mid-sentence. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. I, had, I think we had a good conversation. I, I don't know. I, I thought I would be more comfortable talking about this, but I really wasn't. I'm just going to be honest. It's, I, it's just... It's, it's not a place we shop, but we're going to talk about something, a product we don't buy. <laughs> right. That's, yeah, there we go. That makes perfect sense. And just like that, y'all, we don't know if Black's going to come out of the Matrix, but we're about to jump out of it. We out. <laughs> you know, it's crazy, man. It's crazy how it does it. I'm making Gucci moves. My whip bulletproof. I stash it on the roof. I come with them big boy toys.